Hello, everybody. I built a, took a Harbor Freight six, uh, 18 volt drill and I took the battery charger and make, put an adapter on it for a power hack. I wanted to figure out a way to get it down to 12. So I did a little research and I found this Radio Shack. It's called a uh, 7812 12 volt DC voltage regulator 1 amp so total amp would be 1 amp draw on whatever you're running and I'm just running small PC fans I wanted to try to get closer to the what the fans were rated at 12 volts plus a lot of other things run on 12 volts At Radio Shack, I asked them how to wire this thing, and they couldn't tell me. I just thought it was in. I'm not going to use this to transfer it down to 12, my 18 to 12 volts, but it is kind of interesting, so I thought I'd just do a little video on how to wire it since nobody else could tell me, nobody at Radio Shack. Because all they show you, it's just a small chip. It only cost $2, so I went ahead and bought it. It has an input, a ground two in the center, and then an output on the right, or the top of the screen. Then on the left, it has another ground two. Well, this top ground, I'll show you the actual part here in a second. Here's the chip. The top of this, this is the back, and the top is all this is is a heat sink. The reason I'm not going to use this is because this thing gets hotter than hell. And I don't think it's safe. Plus, you're wasting, you know, it regulates it down to 12 volts the 18 volt but you're wasting all that energy through heat this thing gets hot but I'm just going to do a little demonstration on how you what I did was I just soldered a positive if you're looking at it this is the back this is the front it's hard to tell that from the drawing, but I just took a, a wild guess, and that's the way it is. So your input, I soldered a positive on both ends and then a negative in the center, a ground. Your input's on the left, ground is in the center, and then output is on the right. Now what I what I hooked up to this was just a small 0.3 amp uh, PC fan and with the 0.3 amp this is supposed to take up to 1 amp with 0.3 amp this thing I couldn't even hardly touch it. I'm going to try to do a temperature reading on it and see what it how hot it gets but I'll do that in this video what you can do with this metal piece on top is screw it to a heat sink that way it'll cool off quicker but the way I'm gonna do my get to 12 volts I'm I was looking on eBay and they have some cheaper 12 volt battery chargers that come with a battery I'm gonna get one of them and put a Radio Shack uh, coaxial plug like this like I did in my other video and then I'll be able to use that and it'll be a lot safer when I'm running my 12 volt components let's get to hooking this up okay here's the 18 volt battery I got the meter hooked up to it and as you can see we have 19 
19.4 volts. Now we'll hook up the 12 volt regulator and I'll show you what it reads. Okay, I got it hooked to the battery. As you can see, I got the positive from the battery going to the input, which would be on the left. Then I have a negative going to the center. Where is it? Which would be where you'd wire your ground from the battery to the chip, the 12 volt regulator. And then I got a lead coming off of that going to my meter clips. So the negative coming from the ground to the negative on the meter clip and then the output wire which would be the right is hooked to the meter positive side there's the voltage now it's 12 volts and this thing right now it's not it's not hot but if I hook a fan up which I will do this I'll show you how I'll try to show you I'll, I have a temperature gauge I'll put on there and see how hot it gets but this is how you wire this thing Okay, what I did was I hooked the fan and it's running. Hooked the positive, of course, to the positive, the negative to the negative. I still have the meter hooked up. We're running 11.86 volts. And when I try to touch this thing, that's as long as I, it's burning my fingers. That's how hot that thing is. I'll hook up the meter and see how many amps I'm drawing. This is only supposed to draw 0.3 amps. So at 0.3 amps, that thing is hot. It already needs a heat sink on it. Okay, I hooked my meter so I could run amps through it. We're getting 0.4 amps. And... It's hot. It's not burning up, but it's hot. I'll try to get a temperature reading on this thing now. The only thing I have is my meat thermometer. I'll try that. I tried it with my uh, laser thermometer, but that doesn't work for some reason. I think it's getting a reflection. I was looking at some more statistics. This thing, uh, input voltage maximum is 35 volts. The operating temperature is 0 Celsius to plus 70 Celsius. Maximum junction temperature, 150 degrees Celsius. I got my meat thermometer just stuck in the end right there into the heat sink and we're at 162 degrees at this point so you can see how hot that gets I just thought this was kind of interesting this it's amazing how this a little chip like that can regulate the voltage from an 18 volt down to 12 volts it's just amazing and a very interesting still drawing 0.5 amps 163 degrees my battery's gonna go dead on my iPhone here so we'll make this a, just a short video thanks for watching